In this video, I'll show you how we can create a speedometer with a hovering uh, pointer. So as uh, the, the range, the value goes up, the needle also moves along with it. So something like this. The actual goal is quite simple to create. So we create a scale and set the size 250 by 250 centralize it and then we also will need to set the range from 0 to 270 and the tick counts to 61 and major tick every 5 so tick counts all this 61 of them and then there will be a major tick every 5 so one two three four five and so on you can change that some people like to end the the beginning and end to be perfect others they don't probably they want some dots at the end so they can do like 63 so you do you see this last one is 261 and so on seven and then two more dots if you like it like it to end from 0 to 270 exactly you need to put something like 61 or something like 31 to show less i just think the 61 one makes it look nicer then we add the image this is the image we add i added it as a bitmap and then this is the hovering needle so what will happen is as the value of the arc goes up we will set the image rotation at the same time so it will seem like it's actually uh, moving along with the as moving along up and down like this then we add a arc uh, shadow so as the value increases you see this shadow uh, like a opaque shadow fill the whole, whole uh, scale so example if you click on the arc shadow which is same size as the uh, this scale so if you look at the arc shadow it's the same size 250 by 250 and it's going from 0 to 270 so i.e. from here to all the way there uh, you can set the value to see the shadow at different points. So if you change that to 145, you see it's going to 245. The other thing you can do is uh, go to indicator, arc, and the opacity. So if you want to increase the opacity, this one's very uh, see-through. So let's say if you change it to 88 or something, it's more more obvious that there is actually a shadow so what will happen is as the shadow moves the pointer will also move along with it and then there's a scale inside this is just to make it look nicer so we get this and then we got that indicator here so it looks just like they're pointing at the numbers and for our design I added a spinner as well so we just uh, every 10 seconds or so we'll just uh, uh, just go around and then disappear come back again go around disappear and then a uh, label for to just say mile per hour kilometers per hour or something else and then a background label and I've set the value to 222 two, two. you can set it to something you like so you can set it to 000, zero, zero as well and then you have to set the foreground label to the same so, so I put the position of the background label slightly to the left so it's 69 and what by 105 and this one is 74 by 105 so it looks like there's a shadow at the back now the goo is ready what we'll have to do is save it and build 
once the build is successful if you go to if you go to the uh, your easy studio project source UI you notice these uh, C files have been generated so you copy this over to your Arduino project which you create with the same name and then just paste all the C files once you've pasted all the C files you go to your Arduino sketch here you'll see everything has been loaded so first of all note that in the Arduino sketch we're using the normal uh, template the only change we'll have to make is in the setup method after the Easy Studio UI has been initialized we register an event to register an event we just pass in the object the event name and the event code and optionally we can pass in other GUI element that we want to update in this case we're not updating anything if you go to value change event handler which is here notice what we're doing we're just getting the code and in this case this will be null because we passed null here we're checking if the code is LV event value changed and then updating the the shadow as the pointer moves and then setting the pointer location by rotating the image here and then updating the uh, the miles per hour value both the background and the foreground we're setting it to the same value and then in the loop what we're doing is we're mocking the data so we're just randomly increasing the value of the arc and then manually triggering a event for the uh, arc by using this uh, method of the object send event so what that what this does is it mocks the data look here mock data you randomly creates a value for value and then here what we do is we trigger an event and the event is then handled and we execute this uh, event handler and that's it really uh, if you click on uh, update now upload uh, you will see the final result